we can now start to uh, populate the uh, section with the deta fine detail. Click on the sections ribbon again. Choose the foundation that you want to use. I'm going to use an external 100 cavity wall with 100 millimeter block work. It's been inverted at the moment because I use using a mirror command just now. I can then repeat that process if I wanted to, to do the other side. Or I'm going to show you another trick in a minute to copy that. Select the 2550 wall. Place that on the foundation. Repeat the process for the upper wall. OK, at this stage, if I want to, I can now copy that wall and place it on the other footing. So I select it, middle click, copy, place it over there. I now want to hand that drawing. So I middle click, mirror, and I've now created a, a copy of that, which I can then move onto the other footing. So there we have created those elements. I'm now going to place my floor section through there. I go and find a suitable floor. So I'm on concrete floors. Go through the menu of these to find the ones I want. I want an insulated screed in this case. Pick the one that I'm fancy. Again, because I've been using the mirror command, it's remembered the, the negative values. I can just click on there. It's now ready for me to stretch it across the building. Press explode to access the data within it. And I can then stretch that across the building. You can see it's fully detailed. I'm now going to place the upper floor in the same way. Find a suspended floor that's suitable, stretchable from both sides, suitable thickness, 200 mil joists. Don't want a perimeter ledger. Just that one will be fine. I can then place that on the drawing. Same process. Select it, explode, and then stretch the item across the drawing. We now need to put the stud partition in. So metal stud work. Oh, no timber, metal. 70 mil, 2550 high. Place that on the drawing. I can just remove the, the outline that was provided for us. And the next thing we need to do is to pop on the, uh, the roof truss. Now, before we do that, we just need to confirm the overall width of the roof. And we do that by first measuring it using the ordinary measuring commands. So it's 70. Nine six wide. Just make a note of that. We can then place the truss. Go back to the sections, roofs, 
find a suitable truss shape into the dimensions. 125 mil for my rafter thickness. Same for my bottom cord. Span is 7096. The pitch of the roof is 40. And the overhang is 350. Now the overhang is actually measured from the outer face of the wall plate to the uh, face here. Press insert. And then put the truss on there. So to finalize it, all I now need to do is to tile the roof. So I'm going to find some suitable tiling materials for my 40 degree pitch roof. 40 degree with 175 face here. Place that on the roof. Repeat the process for the right hand side. Finally, place the ridge. At that time, we can turn off the construction lines so that we can see the whole detail. If we want to, we can then embellish the section with people and so on, just to give some context to the overall building. And there you have it, your section completed in a couple of minutes.